next guest is a talented comedian who co-hosts the Nerd of Mouth podcast on cavecomedyradio.com, and he's making his late-night debut with us right here tonight. Please welcome the very funny Mike Lawrence. <laughs> Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, I live in New York, which is three hours in the future. <laughs> and I hate when people say this when they go, New York City, eight million people, eight million stories. There's three New York stories, all right? There's I moved here, I lived here all my life, and Ghostbusters. <laughs> I am excited about Jeremy Lin. I think he is amazing. Here's how you know it's an incredible story. There have been more movies made about dogs playing basketball than there have been about Asians playing basketball. <laughs> I would also like to nominate Jeremy Lin as the one celebrity you should not point out in public because you will be wrong and racist. <laughs> I'm not a fan of sports, unless we're talking the Huey Lewis and the News album, and let's. <laughs> but what I hate are people who are morally opposed to sports. Like, I was talking to this guy, and he was like, I think football is wrong, and it's just cruel that we cheer on these men who run into each other and get hurt. And I was like, they don't care because they live in mansions. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, man, but would you want to live in a mansion with Alzheimer's? And I was like, that sounds like the best way to have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Every day you wake up and someone has to explain to you that it's your mansion? <laughs> Tackle me now. I, uh, I really miss my grandma, guys. We lost her in 2001, and she died in 2006. <laughs> and we used to visit her at her retirement home in South Florida, redundant. <laughs> and the name of her retirement home was The Preserve. <laughs> Because irony ends when social security begins. <laughs> and I went there once and someone pulled the fire alarm and there is nothing more undramatic than when someone pulls a fire alarm at an old folks home. <laughs> the most exciting thing that happened was an old man just stood up and yelled, let the fire take me. <laughs> and then he threw a Werther's original at it. I'm not afraid to die. I think it'd be way worse to be immortal. Because think about it, every 50 or 60 years, your wife dies, and you gotta get a new one. And each one has more rights than the last one. <laughs> hey, honey, let's go out and vote. Damn it, woman, that used to be my alone time. <laughs> I used to love playing the game Yo Mama when I was a kid. I know the proper pronunciation is Yo Mama. <laughs> but the thing that always bothered me about it was people never said the things about my mom that I hated her for. Like it was never like, ah snap, Yo Mama's so controlling and manipulative that even when she dies, her words will still haunt you. That was a Jew joke, by the way. <laughs> I used to go to my mom's place for Shabbat, which is a female robot. <laughs> that all of the Jews are just terrified of for some reason. Why can't we use electricity on Saturdays? Because the Shabbats will attack us. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a child of divorce because look at me. <laughs> I had this face when I was 12. 
And I hate the way I found out about my parents' divorce. What happened was my mom took me out for ice cream, and she sat me down. She said, Michael, I'm leaving your father. I'm going off to marry another man, and I'm pregnant. And that was really messed up, because that should have been three different trips to get ice cream. <laughs> that took you two seconds to laugh at. It's taken me 20 years. I will leave you with this, the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in all of my life. I saw an improv comedy troupe fail in front of their parents. <laughs> and it was so amazing. <laughs> this one guy in the troupe stood up and said, hey man, someone give us a suggestion of a place we should be at. And the dad just stood up and went, law school. <laughs> Now, thank you guys. Good night. Fantastic. Fantastic. Michael.